Welcome back everyone. I've got a quick and pretty easy one for you today. I just thought I would do a little face painting. This technique works for the whole body if you want, but this is YouTube and I aim to keep my content strictly PG. Anyway, let me show you how I did it in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this picture of a beautiful woman that I downloaded from pixabay.com. Then, I added two images I generated on picklumen.com by going to File in the menu, then Place and then selecting both files and using my cursor to drag them out onto my canvas. Let's turn the paint swirl off for a second by clicking the little dot to the right of the layer. I'll begin by removing this butterfly here from its background by clicking on the Selection Brush tool in the left-hand toolbar and painting over the little guy. I'll try to work in as much of the fine details as I can by using the left square bracket key to make the brush head smaller. To make it bigger again, just click the right bracket key a few times. To remove any selections you don't want, you can hold the Alt or Option key to paint them away. Alright, that looks like a pretty good selection. So I'll just click on the Refine tool to double check, and then I'll go to the Output drop down and select New Layer with Mask, and then Apply. OK, now I'll use the Arrow Shaped Move tool in the left hand toolbar to move the butterfly into place. To make it bigger, simply grab the corner nodes and stretch it out a bit. Next, I'll turn the Paint Swirl layer back on and click and drag it below the butterfly layer. Then, I'll select both layers by holding the Shift key while clicking on both of them, and then I'll right-click on them and scroll down to Group to group them together. Next, I'll right-click on the group and scroll down to Rasterize to put them into a single pixel layer. Alright, now I want to warp this layer a bit to sort of mold it to her face. So, with the new pixel layer selected, I'll go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel, and I'll scroll down to Displace. Then, I'll go down and select the button that says Load Map from Layer Beneath, and I'll move the slider up just enough so that I can see some slight displacement where her lips should be. OK, next, I'll right-click on the same layer and I'll scroll down to Rasterize, and then I'll go to the Blend Modes drop down at the top of the Layers panel, and I'll select Multiply to blend the image in with the woman below. But I think the overlay is a bit strong. No worries, I'll just go to the Opacity slider at the top of the Layers panel and move the slider to the left a bit until it looks more the way I want it. That's better. OK, now I'll click on the Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers panel to add a mask over the image. Then, with the mask selected, I'll click Command or Control, plus I to invert the mask. This makes the butterfly image disappear. I'm going to paint it back on a little at a time by selecting my paintbrush tool in the left toolbar and making sure my color is set to white. I'm using a soft round brush from the Basics category here. The opacity is set to 100%, the flow to 25%, and the hardness is at zero. This allows me to paint the layer back on without any hard edges that look too unnatural. I've sped this up a bit so as not to bore you. Just remember, with an inverted mask, paint white to add the image back on, and paint black if you want to remove pixels. Alright, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And, if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.